summon early. She sorry, streamlabs can be something else sometimes, I swear. That does look amazing, not gonna lie. Alright, let's get back to it since it's a fucking stream. What the fuck is that, dude? It's not my fucking fault. It's not, it's not my fucking stream. I don't want it. It's not my fault. 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 It's Do that shit and pause and shit. Like, bruh, I hate it when that happens. Bro.
okay, let's just continue on. Last episode, Bruce got drugged and shit. He lost his position of, you know, CEO and Wayne Manor. And now he's in jail. He would just think. beat me to death right there in front of Prison. everyone. He wanted to. If Batman hadn't been there, I would be... Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface. Make them unmanageable. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Doublepot. Come work for me. It won't be what you have here, but at least we can keep pace on the new bat tech. I'll go and gather what I can from the lab. You're good, man, Bruce. Oh, yeah. So the action. I have to tell you how I... Yeah. Bruce. Oh. Come stay with me. I don't think oh, that is shit. Drop your pen. That's not Hey, I'm up. I'm up. For Christ's sake, put some clothes Gee. on. Doctor's making the rounds soon. Doctor? What uh, doctor? <laughs> Listen to him. Look, look at how he walks up. Can't be real. <sighs> Looks like someone was angry. Lovely. Asylum for a start. What? Rich boy doesn't remember? Oswald Cobblepot oh, struck. Beat him to a bloody pulp. Nearly killed him. Landed you here. Any of this? Wonder, uh, <laughs> Might as well get comfortable. This is your home. 
what I got put here. Hey, neighbors. Oh, shit. He's just, he's just getting you money. You look just like What him. the fuck? Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody said you gonna take it on me just cause, just cause my father's dead? I hope to God there is a hell. I want your dead to see what I do to you. Bring on, bitch! Hit me. Have experienced another psychotic episode. We need to keep an eye on that. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. Bro, I'll do my best. Boy, you was all crazy. But I need you to get a buddy. <laughs> nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what uh, just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. I can't do shit. I'm drunk. Up for the new guy. I'm Dr. Yeah, John Lee, guy, huh? by the way. Head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got you on this. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name you... out to anybody. What? <laughs> we just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> Man, we all know his real name. John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! Oh, that little girl go crazy. <laughs> too many white tiles, we want <laughs> Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself. Then. Oh, <laughs> every day, doctor. It's every day. I can't taste anything. I want to taste. Oh, <laughs> you gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. Shit, I don't want They go crazy. <laughs> Yes, well. <laughs> oh, shit. No, no, you, you, 
You need to let me go. I have to warn the president. They're trying to kill you me. Know the president. Ah! They don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Run them! I'll come by to check on you too late. Damn. <laughs> Don't worry about us. I'll come to the ass. Take good care of you. God, you are, uh, not a good voice actor for this guy. I gotta tell you. Gotta tell this guy that she is a fool. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. Asylum. Believe it or not, Asylum. some of these people are crazy. <laughs> All the green guys in there, huh? Everyone's friendly. Mostly. We beat him. We beat that guy up. Watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. Thanks for the heads up. I appreciate you showing me around like this. I'm a giver. <laughs> what can I say? I always try to keep an eye out for new guys. Oh, uh, yeah, I see that. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Stay for shows on. Never misses it. All right, right now. Commercial break. Head up. I was wondering about not much yet. <sighs> well, actually, I it's was not kind for meds either. Eat it. Okay. That's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Ellie. <laughs> Still walking around, yeah. so he definitely going crazy. You got a bad case of the my knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off. All right. <laughs> so that's all you gotta say. Go away, I'm busy here. You heard him. Beat it. Hey there, buddy boy. You miss me? I missed you. Oh. I so did, uh... However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe. <laughs> Firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? Oh god. Uh. <laughs> Bruh. Shut <laughs> up. Quotation marks. <laughs> What's up? What can you tell me about uh, John Doe? John? Bruh, every time Nothing. I always mess up. Man. I don't know anything. <laughs> Came to Arkham. 
not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. Things a freak with green hair would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's the movie. That's, uh, that's crazy. Yeah. Nice trick. Listen, pal. Arnold's had a tough time in here. And he doesn't need bullies like you making his recovery harder. So let's have something important to say. Get lost. Well, damn. <laughs> Gee. St. Louis. Something that's <laughs> sane. Because <laughs> he's insane, huh? I'm, I'm not really crazy, sane. you know. In case you were wondering. Well, don't worry, I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. What drugs did I get this for? Uh, Beat the shit out of Oz. Sure. So it wasn't you know. Lewis! What? No, that wasn't me. I, I, I've seen Lewis. And, and that was... <laughs> that was crazy, Lewis. You see? Get the key. <laughs> Did a number on this guy. Just let him be. Hmm. Who has to get the key to it? Says that's against rules. I uh found this key. Huh. Looks like a door key. Hey, you shouldn't have this. I better hang on to it. Oh, he just takes it. Oh. She's sorry, I can't talk right now. Gotta keep my eye on this guy. <laughs> we have Victor's eyes. He cheats. Every time. He cheats. She's what I'm thinking. Cheats, huh? Mind control. See her. I told you. If I could read Just minds, get the game. I certainly wouldn't waste my time on you. He's, I guess you just get chess, huh? Bruce Wayne. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. So what's the deal with that? Well, this one was a homeless guy trapped in a hope. <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. All lost souls that I free from their earthly woes. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. What do you want? I walked in here with. What can you tell me about it? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. <sighs> Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic. <coughs> unpredictable. Just like him, huh? Speaking as a, as a professional, I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic. I'll give him that much. We can never do that. Not to all of them. Let's start this guy. No. Your key didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one, this one has become a lot more interesting lately. Uh, In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately yeah, I guess that makes sense. I thought you and the mayor so were gross. friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw 
all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Oh, well, you had a good one, right? Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. Slim pickings are out here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Denton announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on our rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Oh, oh my god! Won't someone save my baby? Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. <laughs> Let me tell you. Tragically, yeah. there is still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait. Yes, she's the mayor. Like, know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Can your revenge just like you got your revenge on Coppelpon? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Ooh, I'd love to see that. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I I've can watch tell you. there's some barter in you. When you were there, yeah, Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. No, I really didn't. Those cops had dragged you off of him, that couple but punk would be dead. That was me. It was just a pump full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad! Help! Bump off her parents! Why would my father have the Vales killed? I never said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? It's Arkham. The Arkhams nope. did not so approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing to so your dad. Well, pop, pop. Her parents leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for chance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Don't try to make this about me. Of course it's about you, Bruce. This is all about you. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, fantastic. I know what you really are. What? I know what I really are, huh? And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved your drugs, but what, you you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. True. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I yeah, assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. Uh, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? I guess. Sure. One favor, that seems fair. Excellent. We'll have loads of fun. Uh, 
You I'm see? not allowed to fly. All right, tell you what. I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. <clears throat> you make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What See, the hell do you do? What? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Uh, no! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now. This kid feels like he's itching. Burning! It's itching. seen in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. Ugh. I wasn't really involved to be honest. Doctor, I swear to you, I was not involved in any of this. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. Was it involved? Seems you have a visitor. It's up. Alfred. Ah, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. You may have the money to make this go away, but this is going to hurt you in the long run. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. No, no. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. I appreciate your concern, Doctor, but I assure you, I'm fine. You He's don't know fine, that, Bruce. Bruce. Oh, no. yes, I'm do. the medical professional, and from everything I've observed, you're clearly in need of treatment. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. Still already out here, this bitch. I will see you on the outside, Bruce. I can't wait. See you. What's that about? Time. And 
And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you up so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. Yeah, well, that's why it's Batman's turn now. <laughs> True, I suppose public opinion doesn't affect him much. Though, if the people protesting to have you thrown back in Arkham get their way, that could put a damper on things. Uh, oh. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want? Oh, shut up. The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. I'll be fine, Harvey. I can handle myself. I don't think you understand the danger you're in. Maybe you haven't uh, heard, whatever. but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack. People are scared. Whatever. Panicking. I need to show so. them that my resolve hasn't weakened. That Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. You're pathetic, Harvey. Not even mayor for a week and already the pressure's gotten to you. No. I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let oh, you keep well, running around right. Scott Free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was the low blow, Bruce. A real man she wouldn't have like done that. Anymore, anyway. A friend wouldn't have done that. She doesn't belong to you, Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. Do not oh, let you be about Selena. We're done talking. <clears throat> What's going on here? Oh. We got going on here. <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. If we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. Go ahead. Wait, nothing, Doc. Doesn't sound like it. Besides, everyone's hiding something. <laughs> Whatever. Come on, what's the Whatever. damn hold up? Uh, get back to your car. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next right. cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. I'm tired. I am hungry. I haven't showered in three days. I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over and then back up again just to make sure it did the job. Bruce. Shut up, Alfred! I can handle this! Someone else heard Damn. it, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! Bruh, bruh. They should block you off! This is oh, God. Oh, shut up. Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. You just need to get out of this mess. Order to run, dirtbag! Oh, Next sure. one won't be a warning shot! Alright, now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this. Either I let these what? people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well funded hmm? and well armed. I'll take that. What do you say? They got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? The mayor's gonna hear about this. It ain't gonna make him happy. It's 
everything I have, okay? Sure, that'll work. This isn't over. Yeah, sure. Take it up to City Hall. You need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? Funny, I thought you could handle yourself. Oh, I can. I just also know when it's time to make myself scarce. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. Uh, the night was a lot of fun, but not worth dying for. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? Yeah, I guess. I understand. I don't like it, but I understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. But boy, are those puppy dog eyes breaking my heart right now. Where are you gonna go? I got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. Hey, so, uh, hug for the walking good luck with <laughs> Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. I have to do something. Don't get in my way, Al. I wouldn't dream of stopping you, but let's address the problem at hand first. Bruce, you look Awful. He's had a very long <laughs> evening. Hell yeah. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vale's drug. I'm on it. If we can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Let's start with the DNA scan. Compare it to your DNA on file in the bat computer. I'll make the preparations. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Here's my DNA before the incident. 
It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. It's based on the individual's DNA. We'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them a cure. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Should do it. <sighs> Damn, that was a hit. It. It's not. It's, uh, it's not. At least not worse than yesterday. Was she? This needs to be injected right now. Right, right, those, those, those. Oh, don't imagine it would be much fun. <laughs> oh well, deal for the. That does the trick. It'll work. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find the body. <sighs> that woman trying to get a scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. Oh, well. I wish things had been different. Maybe I could have gone through to her. You always try your best, Bruce. She had her own agenda from the start. It was, it was she was playing enough the entire time, anyway. breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Offense Gee. intended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. Oh, God. I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. Uh, he told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. Shouldn't be too tough to locate them. Got it. Bruce, before you head out, I've got something for you. I call it a strobe grenade. Throw it at any surface and the ensuing light show will make you almost impossible to track. Perfect. Thank you, Lucius. Thank you. <coughs> at least I can do after you invited me to come work in the Batcave with you. Jeez. Bruce! Yeah. If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. Yeah, the Vale's different. It's like I'm inside the veil house.
do some real quick. I'll be back.
<laughs> Took a while, but you boys are back. <laughs> I'm back like I never left from the gang, from the gang. Yeah, we back like I'm never left. Yo, 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 yo. Uh, from the gang. Alfred, the veils are dead. One body confirmed that there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Oh, God. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. I received. Maybe she's escalating. Yep. This seems personal. Sveil's body. Searching. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Recent family photo? Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. I think we're having some dinner, but that's the good old. It's clean. <laughs> well this done, Satan. That a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? Oh, God. Hair. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle, probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Here's Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. Dang. Yeah, He's hanged, gone. Bit. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. She... The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Damn. Looks like a company Stuff. logo. Wait, 
know where that logo goes to. Goes to this. The logos <laughs> match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. <coughs> Damn right, huh? That, with that belt buckle, huh? What's this connected? Belt buckle. Don't know where this connects to yet. It's a letter from Gotham Social Services about a monthly stipend for foster parents. <sighs> Vicky's a bit old for that, isn't she? It's not for Vicky. They have a boy. Ah. Oh, that's this her. must be she Vicky shortly her. after she was adopted. <laughs> she did not look happy about it. What about upstairs, huh? Oh, the blood Large spatter. amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait. Um. There's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. That's where it connects the bell. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. Next here. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. Shit, crazy shit. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky wow, needed a place shit, to hide her girl. supply of drugs. Is, but... Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect. Uh, see if anything's good. Uh... Cover. That's all, that was to like do true, that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted oh, parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly she... lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. Uh... This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. What? She That's did. horrific! She never That's acted crazy. out in such a violent way before. Why would she- Alfred, I think someone's still in the house. Going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. So <laughs> clear. Nothing here. No. Don't look like a... I've got to be someone here. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive.
It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the <laughs> route you go down, please do it with caution. I got you. Hey, it's gonna be okay. You're gonna be all right. Something bad happened out here. I know it might be scary, but I need your help. Can you do that? Okay. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. Huh? This is important. I... I heard someone say something. What? Something about drugs, fighting the police. I don't know who. Oh, I don't know. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because they're hidden here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Get down. Nice work, kid. <gasps> They're dead. Oh, you just notice. Yes, they are. But you are not. You are still alive. And those it's emotions like... you're feeling. Someday you'll learn how to use them. To channel them. You might not understand now, but someday it will make you stronger. I promise, I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. Oh God, yes sir. 
You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Yeah. Batman. Oh my god. He was the only survivor. <laughs> Come on. Look, he went Let's get you he was out of the here. only survivor. He went defoys on him. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? That boy was the Vale's adopted son. According to the papers I found, they were receiving a pretty significant stipend. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. My tech. Tennis, That's what... what's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not anymore, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. Huh? I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. Go crazy, nigga. Bad bombers, uh, and so your bat stunner just didn't work. <laughs> That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. If not for Lucius's strobe grenade, I'm not sure what I would have done. Lucius, meet me at the back computer. There's something I want to talk to you about. Be right there. Let's get a closer look at you. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. It should have worked. EMP functionality is all in the green. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. I'm here, what's up? God, huh? Take a look at this. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. I am so sorry, Bruce. If only I'd been at Wayne Enterprises. Maybe there was something I could have done. Oh, what a mess. But that sleaze Cobblepot at the heart of it all. Don't waste time beating yourself up about it, Lucius. Let's just focus on fixing it. Right, right. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps uh. it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord. Well, what? No. I gave him some canned food. About what was left in there.
would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. Uh, but if I do anything too drastic, you'll know we're on to it. Cobblepot doesn't know we're on to him. We can't risk losing the element of surprise. I say you do what you need to do, as stealthily as possible. Good plan. I'll get on it right away. Thanks, Lucius. Uh, uh Bruce, Lucius, you're going to want to see this. What is it? What's going on? See, let me guess. It's Reports probably... of children of Arkham activity are down. I knew it was going to be But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. You can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. Harvey Crazy. is scared. Paranoid, but he clearly views Batman in a favorable light. Then again, maybe talking to an old friend is what he needs. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who knows how he will react either way? Be Batman or Bruce. Uh, I feel like going as Batman would be better, in my opinion. Going as Bruce. I don't go as Batman and see what happens. Batman saves Bruce Wayne. Yes, about bloody time. Yeah. Uh. Guys, I've seen a lot of people go as Bruce. Don't this screw happens. this up, Harvey. Not as much as Batman. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Why did I do that? I just can't... I just can't second-guess myself. It's a long way down. To stand. Be so easy to slip and fall. Batman. <laughs> oh, you scared the hell out of me. Well, it's good to see you. <laughs> I was just telling someone how much I'd love to get you on my payroll. You've gone too far. Leave Wayne alone. Wayne? What, is this about the whole seizing his assets thing? You're not gonna break my legs, are you? Nah, or maybe you're just that. gonna make threats. Words out that you don't get violent unless you have to. No, not my style. Well, I guess I should count my blessings then. I'll admit I'm surprised to see you helping Wayne. Seems kind of small potatoes for you. Maybe you haven't seen the news, but he hasn't been the most upright citizen lately. Why should I do anything to help him? You're losing your mind, and everyone can see it, Dent. You want to save me? I protect everyone. Yeah, right. So it seems. I guess I do owe you one. Now Wayne is just another curveball this stupid city threw my way. Hill and his goons, the Waynes, the children of Arkham. I'm finally starting to understand. To see just how sick Gotham really is. To save Gotham, I need to do some bad before it gets better. Oh lord. What's he gonna do? Ready to go! Do it. What did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. Man, we lost a bunch of our own guys! Apartment next door! Jesus Christ! Oh man, that blast was way bigger than you said! We must have taken out a whole city block with it! Damn. We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. Probably not That's even close. what a leader does. I feel like I should thank you. Seeing as you did give Gordon that tip. Turn yourself in now. The police will never let you get away with this. There has been some conflict with the police, that's true. Like Gordon. Oh, he really wasn't happy when I went over his head to get the location of the drug stockpile. But I had him taken care of. 
<laughs> what did you say about Gordon? Did you know? Let him see. Where is he? No, hang on, and hang on. He taking his position. I huh? had to make an example of him to get people to respect. Gordon is on Gotham's side, Harvey. He's fighting for this city too. Batman, I'm sorry. It's like I told you. I what? Crime Alley. They took him to Crime Alley. <laughs> Going on our way there for it. Huh? Here I thought we could work together. <laughs> Let's take a ride, gentlemen. Guess not. Huh? <laughs> what the hell is this? Here, Dent says you're getting in the way of protecting the city. Dent's got you brainwashed. No! He's trying to help. Oh God. The children of Arkham nice are out of control, and no one, no one is doing. Hey. hey, Batman, go crazy then! What a mess! Thank you. Say uh, thanks and explain. What? Give me why I just I'm watched gaming. half a city block go I'm up in flames. Finishing the game. Dent took out the warehouse with the drugs. The location that I gave to you. Are you accusing me of something, Batman? Just say it. Come on. Let's hear it. Calm down, Gordon. Uh, calm down, he says. Two of my own officers were just about to execute me. A whole department of rats, and you're pointing a finger at me. Tell me what you know. By the time I got back to the precinct, Dent already had the information. He strong-armed it out of Commissioner Grogan. I didn't even have time to scratch my ass before I got hauled out here. Dent's position <laughs> makes him dangerous. He's persuasive and he has power. Dent thinks that what he's doing is best for Gotham. It's not execution and martial law. I know. There's no saving him this time, Batman. Yeah. There's no world in which he manages to set this right. My job isn't to save him. If he's hurting this city, then he needs to be stopped. That's <sighs> all circling the drain. Dent was a real hope for this city, and now... He's not the man he used to be. We have a lot of work to do. Everything is such a goddamn mess. But we gotta start somewhere. The real threat on the streets is still the children of Arkham. They are what yeah, Dent is reacting right. to. And standing in the way of dealing with them, too. The precinct trusts you. The commissioner trusts you. Use that. Direct their focus. <sighs> yeah. Gotta handle this first, though. We will get through this, Jim. I'm glad we're on the same side. What's the situation? I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He's somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the Bat computer. That's not the worst of it, I'm afraid. Alfred? Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Uh, already? <laughs> Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. Enter Enterprises. So go to Harvey or go to Ozzy. She. Uh 
we'll, we'll say the we'll say the best for last for Harvey. Why not? I need to stop Penguin. You go to the Batcave and make sure Harvey doesn't find it. I understand. Time to go to work. Signal coming through, Lucius. It looks like it. I'll give you what support I can. But from here in the Batcave, I can only see what you can. So long as you can confirm Penguin's black box when we're in the lab. I can definitely do that. Just be careful, Bruce. No telling what kind of security he's had installed. Oh, you. Bam. <laughs> Time to fire the new CEO. Yes, sir. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Does anyone have him? Useless. You, <laughs> you got black eyes. Hey, it's the bat. You're a dead man. Well, if it ain't the biggest bleeding pleasure to see your sour mug again. Glow while you can, Cobblepot. I'm taking you down. Mm, yeah. I don't think so. In fact, I think it's you who's going to get beat by me. I'm pretty good in a fight, you know. Been in a few scuffles here and there. That's not a smart bet. Well, I've got a bit of inside information that gives me the advantage. You know, I like your style, Batman. I really do. But you're really starting to be a pain in the ass. The children of Arkham are going to walk all over this city, and there isn't anyone who can stop us! Not even you! But this company, under my expert stewardship, with the technology being developed, we could control nations. What are you and Lady Arkham planning? Oh, I'm glad you asked. You know, Wade was thinking too small. He was only tinkering around. So focused on consumer technology. Lady Arkham, she has vision. That's why she... Oh, I see. It helps you plan things out ahead of time. Neat trick, though. Pretty flashy for someone who only wears black. How? Not just for fashion. It's very functional. Face it, Batman. You're outmatched. Without your tech, you're just a man in a pointy ear costume. You can't stop us. <laughs> you watch me. Come on, Batman. Show me what you got.
Yeah, that little beaut is almost done hacking your precious network. That's the device. A few more minutes, all your secrets are mine. I will stop you before that happens. Huh. Oh, is this how it feels when you put on that suit? I like it! Shut you down! I'm the one with the toys now, bat. <laughs> oh, this is the start of a new legacy! And I'm afraid you don't have any place in it. It's done, Cobblepot. Your revolution is over. It started with you, and it ends with Lady uh, Arkham. Oh, good luck. You'll never find her in time. Where is she? What is she uh, planning? The message is the same as it's ever been. We will open your eyes. This city's hypocrisy will be exposed. Tell me where to find her. Piss off! Uh, I'm not telling you anything. When she's ready, she'll find you. You're nothing but a pawn to her. And you're a fool if you think otherwise. You don't get it, do you? I'm not a pawn. I'm a soldier. I die before I sell out the cause. But you can help yourself by talking. I'll stop her either way. What the? Just cut me down, mate. <laughs> Just cut me down, mate. Jesus. That's a mess, but... Is this really necessary? I mean, what will people say? <laughs> Just tell them Wayne put up a fight. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> this man, Harvey Bear. The game is over anyway. Everybody did that, man. Do that. Just stop all over from destroying your tech. It's hard. <laughs> you cares. 
My home's a home. That's it.